who for for lack of a better word, are basically mind control victims of the major corporations uh, and the establishment media. I mean, that's a fact. Hillary Clinton was the biggest warmonger ever. The WikiLeaks have her and her cohorts talking about how dumb you are and how they want to keep you poor and hopeless and distracted. They are absolutely sinister. And the two-party duopoly that has been waging war against nation states and any form of independence has been trying to finish their project. And so that's why I want to reach out to you tonight with a message from Donald Trump, because this is what Donald Trump really stands for. It's what's really going on behind the scenes. And Steve Bannon, his chief strategist, uh, has finally given an interview to Hollywood Reporter, uh, basically telling the world what he stands for and what he's planning to do. And this is why the establishment is so incredibly upset and so incredibly Uh, angry right now because they know full well that they mean business. This is an economy not based on conquest, but an economy based on renaissance. And it's a strategic plan to make the Republican Party the number one party in this country for the next hundred years and break the back of globalism. Here's the article. Ringside with Steve Bannon at Trump Tower as the president-elect strategist plots an entirely new political movement. This is what the two political parties working together, bought and paid for by multinationals, are so afraid of. Now, when you read down in the article, Bannon arguably is one of the people most at battle line with the great American divide and one of the people to have most clearly seen it. He absolutely mockingly rejects the idea that this is a racial line. I'm not a white nationalist. I'm a nationalist. I'm an economic nationalist, he tells me. The globalist gutted the American working class and created a middle class in Asia. The issue now is about Americans looking to not get effed over. If we deliver, if we, he means the Trump White House, will get 60% of the white vote, 40% of the black vote, and Hispanic vote, and will govern for the next 50 years. That's what the Democrats missed. They were talking to these people with companies with nine billion market cap employing nine people. It's not reality. They lost sight of what the world is about. The globalists admit under their whole Cloward and Piven program and false austerity program that they want you poor in their white papers. Now, liberals, you claim you're real intelligentsia. Don't go just read Mother Jones or the New Yorker magazine, okay? Go actually read Carol Quigley's Strategy and Hope. Go actually read Ecoscience. Go actually read what Council on Foreign Relations is saying. They want to make you poor to control you and then have stratas of basically corporate systems they control where you've got to play by their sheet of music. It's corporate imperialism. It's crony capitalism picking winners. And they're against free market. They're against real choices. They're against renaissance. This is a fact. And that's what's so frustrating. Oh, my God, Donald Trump wants to cut people making $40,000 a year to zero? Oh, my God, he wants to incentivize in the the black community and actually have jobs go there and cut taxes even more? That's what they're so scared of because they've got the chains on people. They're taking the wealthiest nation in the world and turning it into a debtor nation Trump wants to end that. This is the American system we're talking about that was the apple of the world's eye. That's why they demonize it constantly in corporate media and universities. That's all paid for by the big banks because they can't compete with it. If we just keep spending the same and cut taxes, more money will come in because it stimulates the economy. It happened with JFK. It happened with others. It happened with Reagan. The problem was the bipartisan groups increased the spending massively three times. Trump intends to cut taxes. It's going to make the economy roar. Already, the dollar's up. Already, all these good things are happening. Globalism was designed to be a long, dark winter, a long, dark time of getting poorer and poorer, and countries go bankrupt, and the big banks come in and bail them out with their own taxpayer money, with rigged stock markets. and I mean, Look at LIBOR, uh, with rigged currency rates and, 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 and rigged interest rates. Everything we told you has come out. And it's about beginning to try to roll that rigging out. The Democrats and Republican leadership are talking to billionaires that don't employ anybody. 
Trump is about hotels and golf courses and, and high rises and is about prosperity. And he sees the country shutting down. He sees his wealth starting to shut down. He's like a resort town manager, you know, on the city council uh, that wants more jobs to come in. He sees the resort town dying. He doesn't like that type of economy. The globalists tell you you can't have a car or you can't have air conditioning or it'll kill the earth. They're teaching you to be poor. It has nothing to do with the earth. So they're selling this anti-human system and behind the scenes and in the mainstream media and everywhere else, this is their plan. It's why the establishment that set up the system is so upset because then it won't always pick the winners and losers. There'll be new wealth, new innovation, new ideas. Look at how he's not even president, uh, you know, elect for 10 days and already Ford's coming back. Already Apple says they're coming back. This is the initiative. People know what's happening. He tells China, you can't have a 10% lower corporate tax than us. So our corporations all move over there. We'll make it the same as you. That's not a trade war. You get 20-something Apple factories, we're going to have at least one. Oh, my gosh, how horrible. So they just go on panic mode, the collaborator media and all this, and they don't hoax the majority of Americans. Record numbers of blacks, record numbers of Hispanics vote for Trump. The same whites that elected Obama elect Trump. And the media goes into this whole hysteria and put you know fake swastika stories and all this crap to try to snow people back onto the plantation. The elites panic over Trump is real. And I just want to tell leftists out there, I've never seen you so angry. You've gotten in my face in the street every time I go out in Austin now. You're all these poor, sad Californians that weren't even real Californians. I've talked to you. You went there 20 years ago. You failed. You, now you've come here like locusts, and you just are always buying the new fad, always buying the lottery ticket, always buying into what mainstream media says. I mean, look, Hollywood's dying. Corporate media's dying. We, we left you a long time ago. Stop labeling us. Stop being so bigoted that I'm a white guy, that I must you know, be a homophobe and all this other crap. You just say that to make yourself be on a high horse. You're like, you're like, I'm not bashing street preachers. Some of them are great, but we all know the obnoxious ones that really get in your face and tell you you're a sinner and just seem all crazed, and it turns you off. It's like, God, if I was the devil, I'd pay those guys to go do that. This is, it's the same way. You're like the new Victorians, but it's political correctness, not, you know, sex is bad. You're just in our face, use this word, do this, do that. You got to conform the way we say run things. It's a bunch of damn slavery. And people are rejecting it. But you're in your own little weird urban bubbles all alone, going to your coffin apartment and watching your TV and feeling like it's the real world. And you're all alone. You don't have any real family or any real culture. But at least you've got liberalism. And, oh, my God, it, it fell in. A guy with an orange haircut came out. You know, It's crazy. So your answer is call us fake news. Call for our censorship because we're 160. Oh, we were 160 a month ago. 126 on the World Wide Web. And there's a very telling video on Infowars.com in Cleveland where the communists come out and are threatening our camera lady, grown men threatening a small woman. And they keep yelling, Alex Jones is fake news, fake news, fake news. Two days after they put out this whole fake news thing in the media that everybody's fake news, the communists are putting out what the corporate media is saying in two days. They're just the fake leftist cover that's your chance at revolution failed communism with a bunch of spoiled rotten rich kids out there bitching and acting like mental patients i mean this is what's so crazy the big corporations the big universities all of them want us shut down want trump shut down they're telling you he's the establishment and doing all this just because he wants to try to turn the economy back on this is amazing and bannon understands that that if they can deliver this country will turn on like flipping a light switch. And it's, it's, it's economic facts. So it's so important you understand why they're screaming, Stephen Bannon's a racist. Stephen Bannon's, oh, God, he's the worst. and can't show any proof because it's all they've got. When we were against Obamacare, they would just scream, racist, you don't want a black man to be successful. We're like, it has death panels. It doubles prices the first few years. It's a big scam. Shut up, racist. Shut up, racist. Fake news, fake news. I mean, this is all they've got. And, and so all these people are invested in socialism, crumbs from the capitalist, crony capitalist table, and you don't understand, we want to go back to a true free market system. Even just a small implementation of free market will end up taking over the entire economy in a decade. It's so competitive. It's so dynamic. The thirst for innovation, the thirst for better things, 
is, 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 is so innate in the human heart. So let me show you some more of this article. It's very important. Ringside with Steve Bannon at Trump Tower as the president-elect strategist plots an entirely new political movement. And he laughs because this is, we all laugh. It's like, whoa, we're racist. We want to convert everybody, no matter what color their skin is, to true free market so they have a new identity as a human, as an individual, as an innovator, like Martin Luther King talked about, for what they stand for and what they produce, not for what color they are. We're the ones fighting the racism. And that's what's so damn frustrating. Now, look, a lot of liberals woke up to the fact that the establishment was after Trump. Look at Julian Assange and others. They knew what a monster Hillary was. But those are real thinking intellectuals. The average trendy would have just been a KKK member 100 years ago when it was popular, and I'm serious. That's why they're fighting the Renaissance and fighting the West that actually ended a lot of the classism, racism, and the rest of it. They're always trying to scapegoat the West because it's threatening their old authoritarian model. That's why they're teaching Hispanics and blacks and other classic race-based garbage is so they can be controlled by their racial leaders and not go and produce their own lives, meet their own friends, have their own free association. But just to understand who the real fake news is, look at Bloomberg. The story's up on Infowars.com. Fake news alert. Bloomberg editor creates libelous Trump tweet out of thin air. And you read... The article out of Bloomberg, and it says right here, and this is a supposed tweet from Trump. I settled the Trump University. I settled the Trump University cheated more than 6,000 students with false promises of teaching them his real estate secrets. The president elect said on Twitter. That sounds like an eight year old wrote it. It's not even a, a good made up thing. These are the folks saying we're fake news. Meanwhile, it says, I settled the Trump University, cheated more than 6,000 students with false promises of teaching them real estate secrets, the president-elect said on Twitter. I mean, that is crazy. And then, of course, you go to the Twitter, he never said that. This is the level. This is the level they're going to. What was really said is, I settled the Trump University lawsuit for a small fraction of the potential award because as president, I have to focus on our country. The only bad thing about winning the presidency is that I did not have the time to go through a long but winning trial on Trump University. Too bad. So that's what he really said. But now I'll hear for years on the streets by screaming crazies that are so indoctrinated they can't admit they've been conned that he admits he ripped people off. We've caught him with fake quotes about how he calls conservatives dumb. Man, I tell you, and once people get into this echo chamber, once they are committed to the lie, they can't admit they've been caught. So they double down on it again and again and again. The good news is you've already failed, and now that human engine of liberty is turning, that dynamo is fired up, and I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know how you're going to pull a rabbit out of the hat on this one. Uh, I'm really asking folks, though, that that just kind of carpet bag around the country and can't seem to ever get anything together and just wonder why you dye your hair this way or do this or that and then nothing ever seems to come your way. I don't care what color your hair is or how many tattoos you got. I really don't care. It's just that just because you have that doesn't mean you're more intellectual than I am. Or just because you walk by me and laugh at me doesn't mean I go home and cry on my pillow at night as I dominate worldwide and reach billions of people every year. I genuinely am here on Saturday night with a cold talking to you and fighting because I think there's some humanity left in you and I'm reaching out. I mean, it's really sad to see what they've done to you because I know I'm right. I know I'm right about these systems. And I know that we're the innovators really trying to turn things around and people are listening. And then you are so butthurt that your whole false paradigm of false polls and lies and rigging the debates, everybody saw that that had any humanity. And that's why I'm really ashamed of you. I mean, I, I I had a guy today come out of a restaurant for no reason and, like, brandish you know, his gun at me. Uh, and other people go, F you, Alex Jones, down in a liberal area. I'm going to keep going down there, by the way, uh, because they're just so upset that they see it like I beat them. I didn't beat you. You're going to get those taxes cut. We're going to get a little bit more jobs here. We're going to try to innovate the minority areas with real jobs so they can be self-sufficient, not under globalist control. So we're going to try to help you no matter what by getting out of your way. And I know your whole identity is bound up in this. I know you got two or three degrees. You can't get a job. 
they set it up on purpose, okay? Just go read the books by Curl Quigley. Go read the books like Eco Science. Go read Tragedy and Hope. Go read the WikiLeaks where they call you dumb idiots and talk about how liberals are the most brainwashed group and how wonderful you are and how stupid you are. Again, how wonderfully dumb you are. I, I, I can't sit here and just abuse you. I can't sit here and play along with all your weird crap. Um, I've done an analysis. I know most of you come from single parent homes. That was engineered. I'm not judging you. Most of you were not breastfed. Most of you were raised in a crib. The child, the first year and a half, does not get a lot of touching to their parents. They don't form real associations. Uh, there's major studies where you're six times more likely to steal. You're six times more likely to falsely report that you've given to charity on Facebook and other platforms because it's all about illusion. It's all about being a poser. It's all about being basically an actor. It's about make-believe. You live in a fantasy land. And it's a fantasy land that you're part of a liberal establishment and, 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 and delivering the world to heaven. Your identity is false. And I don't say these things to hurt your feelings. I say this because there's still time for you to turn around and to get real love and to stop trying to tell everybody how to live and, 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 and what words to use and, and to be the new priesthood when, let's face it, you can't even pay your own rent most of the time. I want to change that. Now, there's a lot of good liberal stuff out there that's the old liberal stuff that's left over that you haven't fully co-opted and taken over. So there's still some good there. The Republican establishment's horrible, and I, I cut my teeth attacking them. They're all pissed at Trump, too. Use your brain, get out of your comfort box, and admit you've been conned. I'm Alex Jones for InfoWars.com. We'll be on the radio tomorrow, slash TV, 4 to 6 p.m. with a Sunday edition. Weekdays, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, my voice is even deeper today. I have a little bit of a cold I'm coming down with. Uh, but uh, InfoWars.com forward slash show. I'm going to shoot one more of these videos. I was trying to do them live earlier, but the feed was cutting off for whatever reason. So I'm going to upload this to Facebook and YouTube. I'm going to shoot one more after this, showing all the hoax swastikas they're putting up around the country. They've been caught hundreds of times doing it before. And it's just incredible how obvious this is. And the mainstream media won't even ever say, hey, it could be staged like the other... 300 times or whatever, you know, it, it's just crazy. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know, man. The virtue signaling is just, it's just too much. Uh, but uh, look, Americanism, not globalism. Find out the difference, folks. And uh, please let me know what you think below. I really am reaching out to you. Trump's reaching out to you. Bannon's reaching out to you. Uh, and that's why they don't care when you laugh at them and all the rest of it because it's, it's very, very sad for you. And I just think maybe you can break free of that if you just get outside your own echo chamber. Because you can tell, keep telling us we're in an echo chamber, we're exploding worldwide. They, they listen to us in Russia and Japan and South Africa and Mexico. I mean, we're like, in some African countries, we're like number five and six on the web. I don't know why I'm so popular in Africa. Uh, in, in some Latin American countries, I'm more popular than we are here. In some European countries, we're like number 25, and, and, and you know we're like 126 here in the United States. Uh, well, Quantcast has the, the, no, that's worldwide. I think we're even higher in the U.S. alone. The point is, you can go see all this for yourself, and that's just our little website. That's a small part of what we do. Five billion views on YouTube. I mean, I and, and then again, like if you laugh at me in a parking lot, this is like balding guys with mullets who obviously can't even get a woman. And you guys are just like, F you, Alex Jones. I feel sorry for you. Why would you come over on camera when I was live and just tell me how I'm bad? But you have to drive off and say, F you. It's like you said, F you to yourself. You were cowards. I mean, at least the guy, the next guy that came up and brandished a gun, you know, at least he was, he, was, he ran off real quick because we were just like, I didn't even know what I was going to do if he kept doing it. I was, I was like, during the headlights, I was like, this guy's actually going, you know, like, ah, I'll get you. You know, old man with his wife really freaking whacked out, man. I mean, if Trump would have lost, I'd be like, okay, everybody's a tyrant. Let's go after him. I wouldn't have been pissing on myself and running around starting fights. It's just, it's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. And all over the country, whites are being beat up everywhere. You, you look like you like Trump. You got blonde hair. I'm gonna beat you up. It's all over the news, and the media won't cover it. That's why no one likes mainstream media because everybody can see it on Infowars.com. And, and the few racial attacks that have been on CNN, they had the black reporter go, so 